Hey everybody, welcome to Altium Academy. I am Zach Peterson. I'm a technical consultant with Altium and today we are going to look at a viewer question that wanted to know about how to best create fabrication and assembly drawings. So let's take a look at the question real quick. Nahel Belgers writes, Hello, first of all, I would like to let you know that Altium is fantastic, powerful, and efficient software that I'm happy to use every day. Concerning the Q&A, I was wondering if you can give us some tips on how we can improve our draftsman documents. So that's a great question. There's some real simple stuff that you can use in your draftsman documents that'll really accurately communicate everything that your fabricator and assembler are gonna need to know about your board. So let's go ahead and get into it. What we're gonna do now is just take a look at Draftsman inside Altium Designer. Now, for those of you who don't know, Draftsman is a really simple tool that helps you automate a lot of mechanical drawings that you might need to do for fabrication and assembly. So you can create a fab drawing, you can create an assembly drawing, export them as a PDF, send them off for manufacturing, super easy to use. If you ever use something like AutoCAD, obviously those are really powerful CAD programs, but unless you have a template or unless you are just a master at CAD programs, sometimes it can take a long time to create a fabrication or assembly drawing in that software. So we're gonna do it in Altium Designer real quick. Now, what I've done here is I've just opened up a simple example project. This is a project that I created uh, while working on uh, the Altium Education program with Altium. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a Draftsman document. Um, I'm just gonna put it in my 365 workspace. Go ahead and hit okay. And you can already see it just populates like immediately with some important information. So what this is showing you is, you know, the top side, left side, front side, basically all the different sides of the PCB. So what you're starting with here is just kind of a basic assembly drawing. It shows you where all the different components go as you zoom in, you know, you can see all the res reference designators for this board and where everything sits. Um, and it, you know, by default, it's one-to-one -one scale. One thing that I like to do is in this upper left area, what I like to do is put the board fabrication view on the first page, okay? So right now I'm just gonna put it here and I'm gonna blow this guy up to, let's say five to one, kind of drag it back in here. And then these other pieces, we can reuse these uh, for the assembly drawing once we get there. First, you can see here, I've got my basic fabrication drawing. Typically what you would wanna do is you would want to then dimension that. And so here we have just a linear dimension and you can see here I am just calling that out and you can just kind of put it there. You want to do it for this other dimension as well. And there we go. We now have a dimension fabrication drawing. Pretty cool, right? So that was probably under like five minutes worth of work to get this drawing done. What I'm gonna do for the moment is I'm gonna create a new sheet. And this new sheet down here that appears in the drawing is actually going to be my assembly drawing. You can actually see it comes up here with a sheet already. You don't have to use this format if you don't want to. As you can see, it kind of goes to the bottom side by default. This is just a one-sided board just to keep it simple. So we can just kind of take all this stuff and here I'm just gonna cut it and we can then paste it all down here. So now you can see it's all down here in the assembly area and then later on we'll also wanna blow this up. And again, it's just so that you can see where all the reference designators are gonna sit in the assembly drawing uh, later on once we get to that point. So we'll worry about that later. So back here in the fab drawing, um, you can see we've already got some text set up for notes. And if you remember our fabrication drawing video and your fabrication notes, we can actually go and grab those from the link in that video, select them all, and then we're gonna go back here to the project and we can basically just start putting these bad boys in as text. So we're gonna go ahead and place text, go over here to the properties panel, I'm gonna edit it, paste it all in. And one thing we need to do after we paste it all in is we just expand it out to the area that we want. 
Make sure that you expand it downward so you can see everything. That's obviously pretty important. And um, you may need to make this a little bit smaller. As you can see, you know, it kind of takes up the entire left half of the screen. But you want to put the fabrication notes in there with the fabrication drawing. Uh, try not to put those in a separate sheet if you can help it. So one thing that we would typically want to do then next is we want to add in a drill table and a layer stack table. And we want to do that because again, this is all fabrication information. We want to keep it all compiled in one single drawing. So here I can just go to place and then drill table. And then you can see it automatically populates the drill table based on the information in the PCB layout. So super simple. Here I can, you know, expand this. I can change the font properties. You know, we can make this a little bit bigger. Let's make it 16. And you can really nicely see here we've got all the drill information. Okay. Uh, next we would want to place a stack up table and uh, inside of Altium Design or inside of uh, Draftsman rather, um, it calls a stack up table a layer stack legend as you can see here on the screen. So we'll just select that. You can see it retrieves all the board data. So this is just a simple two layer board and that's what we're going to have in the stack up once it you know finishes retrieving all the layer stack information. So here it just kind of generates all of that for you really nice and easy. And one thing that you'll notice immediately is this, this is actually a really thin board. So here, when we originally did this, this was just meant to be really simple. We didn't go into actually like setting up the, the layer stack with anything complex. This is 0.41 millimeters. Standard board thickness will be 1.57 millimeters. Maybe it'll be multi-layer or down to one millimeter. Again, just make sure that the layer stack information in here is correct and it accurately, accurately reflects what's in your PCB layout. So kind of what I like to do is just kind of line all this stuff up like this on the left side if I can help it. And then there might be some other fabrication features that you're gonna need for this board. So if you have any unique fabrication features like slots or anything like that, you can actually call those out with the call out tool and it essentially just drags out an arrow like that. In this board, we don't have any slots or anything, so I'm not gonna put, uh, put a, a call out that I don't need here. This is basically everything that you would need for a basic, you know, super basic fabrication drawing. We have the copper features, we have our drill, we have our layer stack legend. We have all of our fabrication notes that state everything that we need to do. The last thing that you would want to do is, you know, if you're like me, you have this in a template. What you would go do is you would go through here and you can kind of see here, I've put like your co-engineering. This would be the name of the client. And then down here in the title block, you want to put your client's logo or the name of the project, whatever other information they want. So next, in the assembly view. So in the assembly view, we can really nice and easily place a board assembly view if we want. And it's just going to be the same thing that was auto-generated. So you can see right here by my cursor, it's just the same thing. So you don't have to you know, do it again if you don't want to. But here, I've just kind of moved this down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, blow up the scale so it's nice and easy to see. You can also do something with the font if you want. Um, you don't have to. Same thing here, just blow up the scale. On the left side view, again, blow up the scale. And so you want to try and align them, you know, in, into this grid like this so that it's really clear where things align. Um, sometimes board shapes can get really complex. Maybe you have some curves along the edge of the board. Maybe this is like a circular board or something like that. And so you want to try and get all of that stuff nicely aligned so that it's very clear what is what in the assembly drawing. So last but not least, something that we actually haven't talked about yet is what goes into assembly notes. So there are assembly notes. And again, to you know do notes, here we would just place text and just slap that down there. And then here, I'm gonna go over to this Google Doc, select all the assembly notes, just copy them. Here, this last one on number seven, I don't actually need because it's talking about trimming through hole leads. The rest of this, I'm just gonna copy this over and put that into my text area. And then here, um, we'll just call this uh, example project for Altium Academy. And there we go, we're done. So here, I just drag this out just like we did before. I've got all of my notes here. And this is kind of the bare minimum for what you need. And so what I like to do with all of this, um, after obviously removing the extra sheet that we don't need, is just make sure this is all nice and lined up, very clear. Any notes that are needed to make sure 
that this is gonna be properly assembled or present in the document, don't submit them in an external document because the, the, less, the less documents you have flying around, the better, and it's really easy to lose some of that stuff sometimes. Here, you can kind of see in the fabrication drawing, it's all nice and lined up. Here, up in the top, if you have a series of revisions, you wanna make sure what these revisions, uh, when they were applied and when they were, you know, who approved them and the description and all of this, make sure all that information is filled in in order that they were applied. So revisions are all, always very important. And and um, the, the whole point of all of this is just to ensure that, again, you could take this board, you could basically fabricate it anywhere. Anyone that looks at this is gonna be able to understand what it is that you actually want manufactured. So hopefully this shows you a nice little example of how you can use Draftsman to really easily create some pretty nice looking uh, fabrication and assembly drawings that include kind of the bare minimum information that you're gonna need to get something fabricated at pretty much any manufacturer on the planet. Thanks for tuning in. Go check out Draftsman. We've got some links in the description. We've got some good links to some blogs. What I'll do also is I'll put the links to the uh, assembly notes and the fabrication notes in the description. You can go download those and you can use them in your own project. Don't forget to call your fabricator and don't forget to call your assembler about this stuff.